Cancer, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, here with another tarot card reading for you today using the Hoodoo Tarot deck, bringing some messages from the ancestors, from the spirit guides, those that came before us. Let's see what energies are currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you. Interesting what I'm looking at right now. We have two dread-headed individuals, as ghetto as can be. <laughs> I can say that because I'm from that community. They're actually playing tennis, man. Two men going head to head. <laughs> that is a uh, very inspiring, man. People look at uh, certain things on a surface value and they jug a, judge a book by its cover and they have no idea what's the last page. Um, there's a whole story in between time, right? There's a whole ocean in between uh, North America and Africa bridging uh black people uh back together again what is your ancestors have to say what have they, what have they been watching over the past 500 years grounding you today a seven of baskets a smoke screen uh identities have been removed but we have an option here we have the option to, de to determine our life paths and determine new goals and new successful opportunities for ourselves so seven of cups Again, would be seen as confusion, smoke screen, and illusions, and that sort of thing. But we have to realize that everything around us is a is an illusion. That's what's grounding you today, Cancer. And then we have Father of Coins, which would be the King of Pentacles. Now we had certain people here. I'm taking this image and I'm getting an intuitive message. So we often have foreigners that come into our communities or we travel when we go into the communities of foreigners. We exchange ideas. We exchange love. We exchange materials, all, all that type of thing. So this is someone that's that's very grounded. Uh, they're very confident. They may be very health conscious as well. Starting a business, uh, some type of CEO, boss someone that is able to uh finance others as well we're getting three wishes here with the uh the genie's um lamp so yeah someone that is able to generate opportunities for themselves and the people around them this could be marriage or some form of a child or a legacy dealing with a father figure and then we have ace of uh sticks which would be ace of wands right generating new forms of uh creativity ideas and even sexual passions coming towards you Again, someone could be looking at you as um, marriage material. Someone could be looking at you as a very potent content creator, generating a lot of abundance at this time. This could even be a new job opportunity coming towards you. You're getting a higher perspective here with the helicopter. So this is you getting a higher perspective as the boss would, as lonely at the top. But we're generating success here at this time. Yeah. Smoke screen. Not necessarily though, this is getting a higher perspective here. Yeah. The boss or the leader always gets a higher perspective, the bigger his. And you know, that's the thing with a lot of these rich folks. They build really, really, really tall skyscrapers in order to get a higher perspective on things. I mean, look at the China or look at the Asian culture. They have a small land mass, so everything is built upwards. We're getting Son of Sticks. So this is page of wands, an immature individual coming towards you, or this could be some type of amateur content creator. Uh, someone's getting a burst of energy at this time. Uh, this could be a small, could be an athlete of some sorts. Dealing with an amateur fire sign here with ace of sticks. Could be some form of a pole dancer. Could be some form of a yoga artist or something like that. I'm even getting a dancer as well. I'm also getting TikTok for whatever reason. We're getting John Horse, the divine masculine, Aries energy. John Horse was a foreigner. Didn't I just talk about foreigners? So uh, we have native blacks and we have foreign blacks. John Horse was a foreign black that came to the native Indians here in North America and made a name for himself, became a chief and was able to lead great armies and revolutions for himself made a name for himself so a content creator we have here a divine masculine here someone with uh a high uh, someone with high value perceived to be um a king in their own rights yeah getting an aggressive individual as well we get the son of sticks and ace of sticks father of coins and john horse is a very powerful masculine high value individual as they would say Mother of Baskets, which would be the Queen of Cups. 
intuitive, psychic, very loving. Uh, this is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energy. So we get father of coins and mother of uh, baskets. Could be some form of a marriage. Yeah, definitely. Or it could be some form of hmm, a renewal of creativity is what I'm getting. You could be going through some type of spiritual washing or some form of a baptism here. A renewal of your creativity. We have Ace of Coins. Yeah, so you're getting a slice of pie. You're getting your cake and you're eating it too. So this could be multiple sources of income or you're branching off. You're developing new ideas at this time. Hmm. Ace of Sticks and Ace of Coins. Definitely a new opportunity or a new business opportunity that you're creating for yourself. We have Aunt Caroline. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. This is celebrity. This is abundance. Generating success for yourself. Coming up right under the Ace of Sticks. Or the ace of wands so you could have strong sexual uh creative pat or you could be using your your sexual okay so i'm getting only fans or whatever the case may be but we're getting a lot of content creation here at this time someone's generating success for themselves they're coming into their celebrity could even be going on a lot of interviews at this time we're getting mother of sticks so not only the mother of baskets we're getting the mother of sticks this would be the queen of wands someone very creative someone very sexually attractive someone that is a self-starter an initiate they're able to uh bring in um people uh to their cause mm -hmm. see what else we're getting we're getting bishop mason <laughs> bishop mason so we have uh, Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. Bishop Mason um, walked amongst plagues, monk walks amongst bad luck, uh, all types of things that tried to sidetrack him. He was the sole survivor of several plagues that stretched across the land. But he was very highly anointed here. So you're walking with some form of a spiritualism or you're walking with some sort of a discipline. You have a higher calling about yourself as well. Dr. Graham, more major arcana. So we have a few major arcana coming out back to back here. Aunt Caroline, Bishop Mason, and then we have Dr. Grant here. Virgo energy, very secretive, uh, but very knowledgeable at the same time. This could be someone learning something new about themselves. Again, he was an entrepreneur. So someone's uh, generating some form of a successful business about themselves. Could be partnering, partnering up with other successful business owners as well. Very inspiring and very inspirational energies here. Uh, create a small business for yourself. Generate some form of anything that you can think of, like something uh, from your youth here that uh, made you very happy. Maybe you're going to be able to generate some form of abundance or content creation for it, from it. But that's what I have for you guys today, uh, Cancer. Make sure you like, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.